The overall goal of the following experiment is to record subcellular events during early embryogenesis in Cenorhabditis elegans. This is achieved by using transgenic strains with multiple fluorescently labeled proteins that allow the visualization of DNA as well as subsets of vesicles in the early embryo. Specific organelles are labeled via microinjection of fluorescent dyes such as lysotracker or mitotracker into the gonad of the adult worm. Next, embryos are cut out of adult worms and observed with a confocal microscope to obtain time-lapse recordings of the movements of the labeled proteins and organelles. Ultimately, the protocol reveals interesting movement of lysosomes and GFP tagged vesicles during early development in C. elegans. My name is Connie Hedjar, and today I will be showing you how we perform time-lapse microscopy in our lab, the Boyd Lab, at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. For this experiment, grow nematodes on NGM agar plates seeded with an OP50 bacterial lawn at 25 degrees Celsius. The day before the experiment, pick at least 40 L4 larvae onto seeded plates and incubate them overnight at 25 degrees Celsius. These worms will be young adults for the experiment. Make an injection pad by sandwiching two drops of 2% agarose in water from a Pasteur pipette between two cover glass slips and applying pressure to shape the agarose into a 1.5 centimeter diameter circle. Remove the top cover slip and dehydrate the...